Does policy trump human rights? Thank you. Should you be forcing kids to be in those buildings if, you, if you're forbidding people from defending them? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by PorkFest.com Hold the door for you, and then I'm going to ambush interview you. <laughs> I've got a question. Were you saying you're going to be working with what you called the at-risk population? Oh. Is that you or? Yeah, that was. Well, I think yeah. yeah. Okay. Adult ed. So I get one question I have is: I mean, to what extent you view your students as a population or a group, and to what extent do you view them as individuals? Well, I would say that they're all individuals, um, but there's certain characteristics of, of different kids. All kids have different ways that they learn. Um, so just teaching adult ed kids has different. Um, they have been traditionally successful in the traditional environment, so this allows a little more. Um, flexibility in the school day format and that sort of thing. Okay. Well, to what extent are they at risk because of this school district's excessive spending? I wouldn't say at all. Uh, yes. Um, he just asked in terms of what, to what extent our students are at risk because of... Yeah, we define an at-risk at uh, student as someone that's not on track to graduate on time. So essentially they're, they're behind in credits and we find ways to assist them in earning their credits towards a high school diploma. But to what extent does this school district increase poverty by taxing the people? <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I, yeah. I have no comment on yeah, that. No if you'd like to talk either. to the, the school board. I will. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, right. we're, we're just coming on board. All right. Just coming on board. You're just the Thank ones you. in front of me right now. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks for talking to me. Okay. Take care. Court on May 15th. There's a lot of issues on that. One of them, of course, is the constitutionality of child. Are you one of the principals? I am. I have a question for you. Yeah. To what extent are Second Amendment rights respected, you know, for adults who are on the property of your school? Um, I believe they're respected. Um, we've never had any issues, and I've not had to deal with any uh, issues to the negative. Um, so at this point, I don't. I haven't had any issues. At so all. people aren't. The adults are not prevented from being armed while they're on property. They are. We haven't had any issues with parents complaining about uh, parents. But that would be an they, issue for those of us who support the Second Amendment. Oh, okay. Well, so on school <laughs> so, property, there can't be any, any arms on school property, no drugs or anything like that. So you're basically preventing all adults on school property from defending the children, essentially. It's, it's, a, it's a policy on school property, on public property. Does policy trump human rights? Thank you. Should you be forcing kids to be in those buildings if, you, if you're forbidding people from defending them? What? You haven't decided whether to attend Porcupine Festival this year? June 22nd through the 29th 
in gorgeous Lancaster, New Hampshire. Great food, great music, keynote speakers including Joel Salatin, Patrick Byrne, and Nick Gillespie. The $75 price goes up to 100 bucks, and you'll need to pay at the door if you don't register by May 31st. Porkfest.com